Let's explain. Pretty sure he's had more. Oh, it's my turn this time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's because in Myanmar, they fight under left way rules. And they tend to pick up a lot of draws because if you don't knock out your opponent, you don't get the win. And that's in traditional left way rules. Of course, we've seen some left way protagonists here on TIE Fight League. They do rather well as well. They're used to the uh, roped hands. Well, they're not exactly used to the rope hands. They're used to they're, well, they're bare used hands. To, let's say they're used to not having gloves or protection yeah. around those fists. That's right. It's going to be quite interesting to see how he fights tonight because we did have one incident where one fighter from Myanmar used his <laughs> head by mistake. Well, it was intentional, but... An intentional accidental headbutt. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Therefore, it had to be called a disqualification. Let's hope the same doesn't happen to So Kolo. Love the name, by the way. Great. All right, here we go. Round one of the scheduled three rounds here on Thai Fight League. First bout of the evening, Myanmar versus Iran. Both fighters already swinging oh. for the fences. Oh, good left hook there coming in from Reza. Two great names, Reza against Sarkolo. Oh, this is going to be an epic battle. I can already tell for the first 30 seconds, Aaron. Oh, good left hook there coming in. And again, overhand right by Sarkolo. A beautiful overhand right from the Burmese fighter. Or should I say the fighter from Myanmar. Oh, good low kick there. Reckless from Reza. He got caught with a low kick. I'll be quite honest with you. I think both of them are a little bit reckless early on. Both of them Just how we like it here on Time Fight League. Exactly. Reckless abandonment. Both of them have thrown defense out the window and that's how we like it. The World 2 is coming in here by Reza. Sarkolo grabs a hold of him. Trying to work out the uh, tattoo on the back there of uh, Sao Colo. I believe that is the Karen flag. Right one. Oh, spinning back elbow there by Colo. And that connected very well for the Karen fighter. Of course, the Karen region or the Kayen region. Oh! Known for producing some of the best fighters in Myanmar. And it's a pleasure to have them here competing on Thai Fight League. Stiff right hand there as Reza runs across towards Sarkolo. On again with that spinning back elbow. Reza run by the goal, throws a left kick and now a flurry of punches against the ropes. Good knee there from Reza. Sarkolo not covering up. Well, he was, he was covering up, but he wasn't fighting back. And there we go. He's paid the price for it. Now the referee going to give a standing eight count. I think he was covering up with his head. <laughs> not the best of ideas, especially with Pacha. Reza, you can imagine he's going to go for the kill now. Yeah, you can see the left eye of Colo beginning to close. Not long to the end of the round here. Not a spinning back elbow connecting for Sao Colo. Looks like overhand right as well. Lead to the body there by the Iranian. Going to wonder the Sao Colo lower he is right now. He's still fighting back. Still trying to push through. Now he's been put on the defense again. Oh! Exposes his head once again as Reza goes in with a knee. End of round one. Stay with us. Round two coming up here on Thai Fight League. All right, let's have a look at the highlights from bout number one. Round number one. Reza from Iran knocking down. So Kolo, the highlight of the round. What of course, we have to say as well, oh, as you usually say, there is no 10-8 rounds here in Thai Fight League. If it is a knockdown, then it can still be a 10-9. Well, but, but it can be a 10-8. Yeah. If, if it's pure two, dominant. Two, two knockdowns too. Two knockdowns, there you That's go. right. So it can happen. But yeah, you're right. It's not an automatic 10-8 round. I'd probably score that at 10-9. <laughs> to keep things interesting. Oh. Yeah, he took a huge beating there in the first round, saw Colo. That was the right hand that eventually knocked him down. There, bang, through the guard. Right on that left eye. I'm just trying to get a look at that now in the... See <laughs> the eye is actually closing or not. Here we go, coming into round number two. 
What a fantastic first round that was. Let's see if the action picks up here, and it looks looking like it will. Well, Sokolo, one round down. Needs to win the next two to win the fight. Looking for that right hand and fights in a second right hand. It wobbles Reza. Yeah, Reza looks wobbled just for a second. He's still in a lot of trouble here. Defending for dear life at the moment. I will, or defend him, I'm not sure he's... Oh, careful. Looking the opponent on the floor, but credit to Sokolo for getting up on his feet immediately. Absolute warrior Sokolo just continues to move forward. And I'm quite interested how Reza, he trying to fight out of trouble there. Right hand again, and the takedown. Of course, that would be beautiful if it was in a main match, <laughs> but it isn't. Again, Cole looking for that right hand, but just back to the ground he goes. Or oh, a wrestling match, to call out a spear. Yes. <laughs> oh, he might be loading with his head that time. Nice low kick there. I saw Polo. So Polo has made a comeback. Can he keep this up? Empty his gas tank, I, uh, I wonder. Well, he might have. I mean, he's not pushing forward like he did in the first round. Going for the head kick. Okay. He's taller, of course. He's trying to use that leg. Another right hand there. As again, Sarkolo just pushes forward. With his head, in fact. <laughs> the battering ram from Myanmar. Something he might have to be careful with. Good oh, low kick there, but a low go. The left hand from Reza, I think that might have staggered Sokolo just for a moment. Good uppercut here by Reza. This is a good tactic to employ if your opponent is rushing in with their head down. Fantastic, and he's going with, in with the head again. Oh, attempted elbow there by Reza. Left and right elbows, in fact. Not finding the mark that time. Sokolo going back to the leg kick. And he came with that leg kick, but his lead is head exposed. Right high kick there from Reza. Left, right elbow, sneak. Elbow there as both fighters drop to the floor. What is happening? Both of them taking their time to get back on to their feet. I think it's fair to say both of them are extremely tired, but still fighting on. End of round two. Here at W, I mean, Thai fighting. All right, here we can see the highlights from round number two here. That might have been the moment of the round from Sarkolo doing that beautifully timed right hand through to Razor where his legs started to go. After that, he was um, very, very scrappy. Extremely scrappy, but entertaining nonetheless. And that was the foul we saw earlier in the round. You know, I've been trying to listen to each corner but sadly, I don't speak Farsi and I do not speak Karen. <laughs> so, for the body language that I understood from Reza's <laughs> corner, they want him to uppercut more as Sokolo pushes forward. That makes a lot of sense. And as for Sokolo's corner, they seem to uh, have employed the tactic of put punching one twos and then covering up. One twos and then covering up again. I want more spears. That's what I want. <laughs> Ask and uh, maybe you shall receive because this match has been epic so far. Karen, yeah, absolutely. The Karen fight is written on the t-shirt as well. Or it says Karen fight. Yep. Big fan of Karen fight. Big difference from Thai fight, of course. As I'm not sure what that was. Somebody tried to go for a sweep, but they won't, both went down. Low kick there from Reza. Oh, good counter strike there from Reza. Knocking the head back of Sarkolo. Yeah, Reza had his timing spot on. He did. He looks fresher in this third round, third and final round. Man, he had to be me in the second round. He didn't look so fresh. Sarkolo is just all over the place. Good kick there from Reza. Sokolo just getting out of trouble. Oh, nice uppercut. Beautifully timed there from Reza. Now, one thing's for sure, it seems like Reza's court has told him to counter punch or counter fight, and he's doing a good job of that. 
once again, he gets nailed with a counter. Here comes Reza. I'm to say it's Solo, he's, uh, or excuse me, Co Colo. Solo, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> saw Colo. He's pretty much swinging without any thought. Trying to push forward, he has his head down. Full fight, he's looking for a spinning back elbow exactly at the same time. Where do you see that other than tie fight me? Right, high kick there by Reza. As Sarkola once again moves in with his head. He's just made himself an open target. He moves in with his head, he looks at the ground. He doesn't know what's going to come next. Neither do we. No. Oh, right hand there from Sarkola. Backed into the corner. Tentative knee there in the clinch by Reza. Quite right, frankly, I think he hit the target. Sarkola moving with his head down once again. He can't continuously do that. He's paying the price for it, that's for sure. Right hand from Reza. Ties him up against the ropes. Why not? Run down the clock. I mean, it just goes to show why left wing Muay Thai are so different. Yes, absolutely, Kevin. Attempted right hand there. It's a slap was attempted, I believe, by Reza. And then goes in with some knees. What an interesting battle. I mean, Reza changed the tactics in his third round and is working out for him so well. There we go with the spear. Surely a 10 8. <laughs> Not just yet. Please oh. everyone ignore Aaron when it comes to the scoring. Oh. Just for now. Goldberg would be proud. Absolutely. But Back to the center of the ring they go. Final stages now, round at number three. Goldberg may be proud, but I don't think Sarkolo's corner is at the moment. Oh, there you have it. Let's call it an entertaining first matchup here on Thai Fight League. We will, of course, go to the judges for this one. Oh, it was exactly that. A very... Here we can see the highlights. All the low lights <laughs> from round number three. Oh, right on the uh, on the nose there by Reza. Attempted low kicks by Saw Colo. Yeah, quite frankly, on my official scorecard, I gotta give it to Reza. I mean, the counter fighting was just too good in that final round. Let's both attempt that spinning back elbow. And let's not forget about the knockdown in the very first round. Six fights still to come here on Thai Fight League. The winner is White Corner Reza from Iran!